Right then, I've just got a new exhaust for the VXR. It was off the road from the 12th to the 21st at CSK Race Exhausts in York, getting a full three and a half inch exhaust system to replace the Cobra um, turbo back that it had before. So the reason it needed a new exhaust in the first place is that Cobra three inch system was just too loud. The stock map has overrun when you're engine braking which just means it bangs its nuts off every morning basically leaving the house, especially on a cold start. Engine braking was ear piercing loud because there's no resonators or anything, just a tiny silencer that didn't really do anything. It droned on the motorway to the point that after a 12 hour like rally car cruise up to Scotland and back, my ears were ringing the next day. So yeah, I had to go basically. And ultimately the plan for this car was for it to be a nice daily that I can also take on track days which I'll be starting in 2023. So there's no point spending 200, 300 quid on a track day, however much it will cost me um, with insurance and everything, and wasting it to get kicked off because the exhaust is too loud, which a straight through three inch system probably would be. So you might think, why not just do a straight swap for a silenced, like twin silenced Cobra or Piper system? And that was an option I considered, but ultimately, this is definitely going to get a big turbo in the next two years or so, ideally forged in the next year as well. And I don't want to be running a screamer for the exact same reason of like, I don't want to get kicked off track because it's too loud. So I'll be running plumb back wastegates and there's absolutely no way a three inch system with a sport cat and two silencers is going to flow enough for 500 plus horsepower without running a screamer, which I don't really want to do, or I at least want to keep the option open to run plumb back wastegates like back into the downpipe. So yeah, that's why basically a custom system was the only option. I'll quickly show you the pictures that the TSK race exhaust took while it was up on the ramp, and then I'll get the car cleaned up and take it out for a spin, some sound clips and yeah, launches, idling, and a flyby I think. Right, so basically, I went to CSK Race Exhausts, who were recommended to me by GR Performance, who are going to be mapping the car in the new year, and asked for a three and a half inch exhaust system from the turbo back with two silencers and a race cap. So I've got a three inch downpipe because the outlet from the turbo is only three inch anyway, uh, so there's no point going bigger there, which then goes into a flexi and cones up to three and a half inch where it's V-banded onto the, the rest of the exhaust. So that downpipe can be removed and replaced with a three and a half inch one when a big turbo is fitted to the car. This then cones up into a, I believe, four inch high temp race cat. So the car should now pass emissions, but there's also no durability concerns with it getting heavy track use and high EGTs once it's tuned. And then this steps back down to three and a half inch and into a massive center silencer which is about as big as you can fit under the car if you've got a cat in place. And it loops up and over the rear axle into another silencer. This one's also as large as you can fit under the car. Due to the space constraints of having to loop around the spare wheel well, you can't fit an enormous silencer back here, but it's definitely big enough to do the job. And then ending in a slash cut three and a half inch tip to about the same angle as the diffuser here. So a four inch tip would definitely fill the gap a bit better, but you can't really go for a four inch tip as Enhanced Performance found out. It looks a bit silly stepping up to four inch, literally an inch away from the end of the pipe, and you can't do it any further back because of that 90 degree bend there. This is the best you can get really without squashing the pipe into a triangle or trapezium shaped exhaust tip. So the rear section of the new exhaust is mounted on these uh, like rubber bobbins at the back. It does use the fa standard factory hangers up front but just for clearance and so the exhaust isn't moving about as much risking it knocking on the axle. Charles at CSK has used these. It does mean there's a bit more vibration. The exhaust's sort of boomy in the boot especially with the seat up um, which I can only imagine is it vibrating through the actual shell of the car but it's like still perfectly dailyable. Nice to drive on the motorway still. Much nicer than the Cobra system was anyway. And yeah, CSK was super helpful with getting exactly what I needed done and doing it to the best quality possible. I mean, just look at those welds. Doesn't get much better than that. Uh, so if you're wanting something a bit more custom or just better quality than what you can get off the shelf for the Astra, because pretty much all 
uh, available systems are two and three quarter or three inch and very loud, then definitely give them a shout. So yeah, I think I've got all the exhaust I'm ever gonna need for this car anyway. So this is the side that's been clay barred. And then the side that hasn't, very least water sticks to it more. Uh, let's see if you can make them out on camera. Just here, um, all around this area. There's lots of little black spots in the paint. Very hard to see on camera, but yeah, the clay bar definitely makes a bit of a difference. I mean, that's like glass, whereas that's a little bit stickier. The water doesn't quite want to run off it as easily. So I'm going to finish off the whole car and seal it with some Autoglim Polar Seal and get out on the road. quite happy with that. I never knew if um, clay bars were worth doing or if it was a bit of a waste of money, but that is definitely the cleanest that paint has looked while I've owned the car at least. So I've just been out to measure up the old Cobra cat back system, which I thought was a three inch turbo back, that's what I was told, with a D-cat, but a fake cat in there. What it turns out it actually is, now I've measured it, is a two and a half inch cat back, and I guess a two and a quarter inch stock, like GM front section, with what I think is a sport cat. So yeah, it's not a full turbo back system, and it's not even three inch. So I would have definitely needed a new exhaust at some point anyway, considering um, a two and a half inch won't flow well enough to go significantly past 300. 
So yeah, good to clear that up before listening on Marketplace. That's all I've got for this video. If you'd like to follow my progress on the VXR, consider subscribing. And if you liked the video, leave a like or a comment. I hope the camera did the new exhaust justice. And again. Thank <laughs> you.